Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Rise SMP today! We are going to do some upgrades to our shop that we have uh, back at spawn. And we're actually just going to do some small upgrades. I haven't fully finished like the, the outside of the spawn, like the little areas that we have around it. So we're actually going to move a little bit. Oh god, that, got, that thing better not get in the way. Okay, good. We're going to move uh, some of the chest places. Ooh, look at this. This is looking brand new now. Look at this. Somebody's been working on our nether hub. Looking good. Looking good. That's That looks really cool, actually. So, as you guys can see, our nether hub is slowly, slowly, slowly being built. Everybody is working and pitching together, and we're finally all working as a big family. And uh, everybody's starting to get all their nether hub stuff fixed. So, anyways, we're going to... What the heck? Um, Did somebody break our nether portal? Oh, jeez. Alright, it looks like we're going to have to redo this. Uh, where's spawn? I need my... Okay, I have, a, I have a notepad document up. And then I'm, I'm going to go to the spawn coordinates. Wow, they're... They messed up something really badly. Holy crap. Alright, it looks like they actually... They accidentally spawned another portal in here. And we're going to... We're going to have to mine this up. Wow, I had such... I had different plans and now the nether hub is broken so we're gonna okay so for this episode we're gonna obviously have to fix the nether hub because somebody messed around with it I think it was actually Dylan who was uh who was working with the nether portal so it looks like he's I'm not sure if he knew that he accidentally unlinked it but we're just gonna help him out a little bit here I guess we're gonna mine up this obsidian and then we need to travel okay so spawn is at negative 9 negative 115 so it's not too far away from where this portal spawned but we just need to fix we need to fix this area. Okay, how do we get out of here? Is there an exit over here? Oh, there's so much iron. Let's actually let's mine this iron. <laughs> we might as well mine this iron while we're here, right, guys? So we're gonna fix up this nether portal. I, I was planning on not I was planning on fixing my shop, but we could we could help out a little bit. Fix this nether portal, relink it again, and then once it's relinked, we'll continue on with our with our shop build or fixing our shop. I wanna fix the the little payment chest and I wanna figure out a way to have it so that well, I'm going to have to mine straight up. Okay. So I'm going to figure out a way with the payments chest. I'm going to make like a hopper system that so people can't just look straight into the chest. They'll have to go into like a secure location in order to uh, get access to my actual to my actual payments. Like if anybody ever buys anything, I don't want the diamonds to just sit in a chest. I want them to be funneled down into like a safe room. And maybe we'll try to figure out, there's uh, there's some rumors that there's some new redstone mechanisms that you can do uh, with uh, like with signs, I guess. And I, I want to figure out a way to make like some sort of um, a vault, sort of like a vault that requires a passcode in order to get in. I mean, it's obviously not going to be too secretive because everybody's going to find out the, the passcode eventually, but it'll be cool knowing that I, I can make a vault. So, wow, we're behind the shop right now. What the heck? Why is it here? All right, it looks like we're just going to head back onto the where our original nether portal was, and then we'll see if we can place it. What happened to the nether portal over here? Did it break? Hopefully it didn't break. All right, I think I, I think I saw it. Yeah, it's still here. So that's weird. Hopefully this is linked. Okay, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. All right, let's see. So this should go. This should bring us into the Nether Hub. And then, so I'm at the Nether Hub. So now from the Nether Hub, I should go back there because I broke down that other portal. Hopefully. Perfect. All right. We relinked it. Perfect, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Mission accomplished. Accomplished. Mission accomplished. I still need to fix the spawn floor here, as you guys can see, but I don't have any... I don't have enough andesite anymore. Like, I used up all of my andesite, so I'm going to need to... I'm going to need to go mining for some more andesite, and we can finish laying out the foundations for this. But what we're going to do today is I want to finish the, the slabs here, going all the way down, and then I'm going to make a little collection room, like right here underneath the base that requires like some sort of passcode to get in but that'll be another the passcode will be another episode but what we're gonna do right now is let's see if anybody's bought anything oh we got six iron ingots so, so it looks like somebody bought something and six iron ingots would probably correspond to cooked pork chops yes perfect so somebody's bought some stuff guys so we are we're, we're we're making business like we have business guys so it's really good really really nice that people are actually buying stuff from us instead of having to depend on themselves so we're gonna break that down here and then we need to make some uh some hoppers and i think to do that you need a chest in the middle and then a v-shaped thingy like this all right so we only have six hoppers 
and let's see if we can funnel it real quickly I just want a quick payment method that people can access uh, or that I can access without people like stealing stuff from act from actually like my store so like I don't want people to be stealing my iron ingots without me knowing it so we're just gonna make a small little chest area here perfect and there's the iron ingot so there's my payments chest and now what I'm gonna I want to make this room look really really nice so I don't really have any decoration blocks right now but I want to block this off like we were saying at least on this side and then we'll have like a secret entrance maybe like here I guess I don't know I haven't really decided yet uh, mind that oh god this is terrible planning there we go uh, mind this. I need to move this. I'm used to having my pickaxe on the third key. There we go. So we, we're just gonna make a small little stairwell. Stairwell here. It's gonna look a lot neater here because we're gonna we're gonna have redstone mechanisms like controlling this whole entire area here. But we're gonna we can fix it up later. We can make it look a lot messier or a lot more neater depending on what I want to go for later on. But we just want I just want to cover up this place so people can't have just free access to uh, my to my little looting chest so we'll have to go for, for right now we'll have to go to the back right here and uh, pick up our our payments in this chest right here so there we go there's our payments chest do I have a sign I can make a sign but it should be fine I don't I don't think anybody would steal stuff anyway hopefully hopefully everybody is a good person but there's our payment chest that's all I really wanted to do for this episode today let's see if I have any building blocks let me see oh here we go we have some polished diorite and polished and decide we can and then we can take some nether bricks as well and we can actually make this into a uh into a little room over here so we're gonna block this off and it'll just be it'll just be this chest here oops so i want to kind of conserve on this because i don't really have enough or have a lot and so if I, i'm trying to look ahead into the future so we're gonna have the key passcode lock here somehow and then we'll we'll see if we could figure out a redstone mechanism that'll unlock like a door or like a piston a sticky piston that has a door in it and that door will have basically all the stuff that we need in order to uh have like a secure a secure area for us to store our valuable stuff or even just to secure our payments from people so looks like looks like uh it'll, it, it shouldn't be too hard to make we just want to really just clean up this floor kind of um, in the future we're gonna probably change this grass to uh, like a checkerboard pattern something of that sort I haven't really decided yet you know, who knows we're kind of just building off of uh, off of our head right now so here we go stupid torch I don't understand how a torch blocks an entire block like that all right so we'll have this chest here Do I, oh do I have enough? Yes, I have just enough. So we'll we'll probably block this off in the near future. But since we do have four hoppers, let's I'm gonna move this chest area. So let's see. We're gonna move this. Let's see if I have enough actually. So let me grab those chests, and we're gonna put that chest here. Then this has to be here, 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 there. Boom. Perfect. All right. And then that. It should funnel down from there into this chest. Perfect. All right, so we can block off this chest room later, I guess. But we'll have we'll have just one payment chest because there's not a bunch of sales right now. People don't really have spare iron ingots for them to be selling or for them to be trading. But I want to make this floor. Do I have a shovel on me? I do not. But I want to make this floor made out of andesite because it looks like it looks sort of like a stone cement floor. So it'll look really really nice. Um visual visually it'll look really really nice so i'm gonna kind of switch all this up into i wish i had a shovel with me but i'll probably finish this up later on but just to give you guys the idea of what i'm trying to go for here we'll have a, a polished granite floor all right it looks kind of plain but i like the rustic look it looks nice and modern and it matches the house so we'll, we'll end up doing a passcode room here we'll have some sort of redstone mechanism that requires a passcode i do have to do some research on that because i'm not really a hundred percent positive how that's going to work yet so that'll be in the future more future plans uh up to come but for right now let's take this stone brick and actually uh, just block it off for right now just to make it sort of look like there's nothing here but in reality there is so no big deals right so we have a little small little room here I guess 
Not really sure what I want to do with it yet, but it looks really, really messy because I'm not, I'm not, I, the redstone mechanism hasn't been set yet, but there we go. We got our little payment chest all nice and secure so people can't just steal stuff from here. It looks like our shard is doing pretty, our shop is doing pretty good. Nobody really buys redstone. Nobody buys oak wood planks anymore, but people are buying cooked pork chop. I've got a lot of steak in stock, so hopefully people are buying that. And then I've got um, iron ingots right there ready to go, so... Uh, people, if people ever need uh, stuff, so they could just buy them from my shop. So here's my mo more of my building materials. Just sort this out. And I think that's going to be the end of today's episode, guys. Just wanted to really upgrade my little payment section over there. And we had, ooh, there's a shop being built right here. I wonder who this is. That looks really, really nice. I wonder who this is. They didn't even mark it yet. Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Hopefully, you guys loved it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And uh, once again, this is D-Field. As always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And we will see you guys later.